morning, my friends. Welcome to the first session of the Creature Shop. So the aim of this class is to provide a step-by-step -step guided instruction on drawing fantastic and legendary creatures. Fantasy art is a popular genre, and I've always enjoyed drawing these fantastic animals since I was a little kid, and I would like to share that experience with you. Today we are going to work on the griffin. Griffin is a legendary creature, a sort of a chimera, a creature that has parts of different animals. So the griffin has the body, tail, and the back legs of a lion, but with the head and the wings of an eagle. Because the lion and the eagle are traditionally considered as kings of the animal kingdom, the griffin, with the combination of traits from both animals, is also considered a powerful majestic creature. Before we start the fun, I like how easy it is to get started on drawing. So all you actually need are pencils and paper, essentially. But um, over here, I also have um, some markers and pens, a sharpener, and a needable eraser. So let's just get to it. Because the griffin is actually two creatures in one, uh, it's very important for you to study the form of the, both the eagle and the lion. The first thing we need to do is really to create a lot of little thumbnails, little drawing. So you can do little sketches and you could create the form of the uh, griffin the way you want it. So would it be like a griffin standing still with the wings uh, are spread out ready to take off? Or is it uh, like this one? the griffin holding up its paw. So do a lot of thumbnails, sketch out the form of the griffin however you want it. And then once you decided on that particular uh, version, and then you're just going to work on that. So the first thing you need to do is really to sketch out the form that you want. So I'm just going to start out by just blocking it out. So what we can do is to just sketch out a form. So I'm having the eagle's head over here like that. Right. And we're going to do the lion's body. So what you're doing is just simply to um, get the rough form on the paper so you know how it's going to look like. So I think we're almost there. Out the form of the lion and then add the wings. So it might be a little bit too dark for you, so I would just um, usually you leave the lines light so you could draw over it and you do not have to worry about erasing it so much. Uh, but just for the sake of um, showing you how we're doing this, I'm just going to darken the eyes so you could actually see how I constructed the body and the form. Right. So the internet always use pictures for references. The internet is full of pictures. Uh, you could get a book because you need to study how the shape of the animal looks like and here the challenge is we're drawing two different animals um, it has uh, the front part being the eagle and the rear body being the lions so always practice practice definitely help so this is the shape of the griffin that I 
you want to do. So it has the griffin turning around and facing towards the back with one paw raised up. And then um, with the tail, a nice, uh, nice uh, curve. So let's see. What we're going for today is the very classical griffin. So it is just um, the first half of the body is an eagle and the back half would be the lions. So I know like in Harry Potter series, um, they have hippogriffs and they are essentially uh, very similar, but they have the, the back half is actually a horses instead of lions. So today we're just trying to do this very um, classical rendition of a griffin. So I've um, erased the dark lines, so I just have the very light lines and I'm just going to concentrate on the head. So, um, right, so I've already blocked out the form with the shape of the head and also um, the beak over here. So now we can just get started. Um, so we could just kind of follow the shape and, you know, do the beak. So nostril over here. So over here is the all the fine hair, and then eventually we're gonna like put bigger feathers. So some of the lines could be darker for emphasis. Then in between the feathers, you could actually shade it like that. So it can give a sense of shadows and it makes it more 3D and it pops out. It could be darker and then it gradually becomes lighter. Let me shape it this way. You can add the fine details. Over here, I'm adding some hair strands of individual hair. And you could shape the beak, and like say, if we have the light. The light 
hitting the peak over here, so it should be like darker at the bottom. Darker peak. So when you do shading, it gives the impression that something is going to be there. And it gives it form and uh, depth. This is the Griffin's head. So right now I'm going to do the body. I've already blocked it out. So I'm going to essentially this is the front legs. And how you're going to do it is you're just going to emphasize on the, the strong, stronger lines. I'm gonna make it a little bit different over here because um, I'm doing like like pause. Long nails. And it has a big strong chest. So now what we do you would like to contour the legs to make it look more three-dimensional and we do shading with that. So you could use lines to indicate the muscles of the legs. So I'm just quickly sketching over here to sh show you how the shadows could actually be used to contour and shape the body. Here is the wing. Uh, it's really useful to study the birds and see how the feathers, the short feathers and the longer feathers all come together. Or you can use your imagination. So essentially we have the small feathers in a line like that and then we can have a second layer of feathers and it could be slightly longer and then we add it on like that so I'm going to do it a little bit darker so you can see and then you could like do three layers of um, small feathers and then you could add Really longer feathers to make it at the end. So I'm just going to darken it and outline it so you could see the form of the feathers better.
inking at some fur on the back so that the wings actually blend into the lion's body like that and um, if you look in between um, two feathers you could actually do the shading like this do it for all the feathers and it's darker and then it gradually becomes lighter so with that transition um, it makes it more um, exciting um, also it, it looks more 3D so I'm just gonna quickly fill up a section over here so you can have an idea of how the shading actually makes it look different. So if you look at this part with the shading and this part without, you can see the difference. Okay, let's finish up the rest of the body. I'm going to put some darker lines to emphasize uh, the, the muscles. said um, shading so you could put the shading over here the underside of the wing would be darker so you could just shade it like this and when you shade make sure your lines actually curve a bit when you do that it makes the body seem to curve Gonna quickly do a quick shading. Let's see, so you could have some shading to show the sinewy muscles. Just like that. So this is the other leg and it's on the other side and over here it's going to be a little bit darker because it's the underbelly. So over here you could do like a darker shading. You could actually make it a little bit darker. And over here the tail just darken the lines of the tail. Just like that. And you can put some shading on the tail too. Just like this. So you keep at it and you work it up and fill in the details and you will end up with something like this. So this drawing took me a couple of hours because I was really careful and very neat and did all the shading and I considered all the different artistic problems and I tried to fix it. And um, that's why Sean and I in our lab are constantly saying persistent because a piece of quality work would require a lot of time. So don't be discouraged if it doesn't look um, anything like mine because it is most important to practice. It took me, I've been drawing for 40 years, so you know, 
40 years I've been constantly practicing to get this good. So don't be discouraged and you know keep at it. And I do hope to see you for the next session of Feature Shop. Have fun!